Hey guys, it's your boy Vibhag with more Mall Fish Fight content, taking another look at Storm, I should say Spidey 2.0. The reason I will explain in a bit. Now, today we will be clearing stage 51 null with this freaking mighty CDP of Judgment at level 70. This is huge for her because level 72 and level 80 will be actually even more e easy for her so i think she is gonna destroy those mutant stages and she might also be able to do stage 45 plus ultron which is the hero mutant stages anyways let's take a look at the build and i'll talk about the rotation with the judgment and why i'm calling her a freaking spidey 2.0 We'll talk about that. So first of all, the build, we got 6% uh, less critical damage. The critical rate will be capped out when we use the, uh, I believe it's the fourth skill, uh, third skill, 30% uh, critical rate. So it will be capped out. Uh, critical damage, we are missing out 6%. That's not a lot though. We do not have any Odin's Blessings. This is her base stat. So 53%, 53k attack as base. All skills are level 6, type enhancement rank 2. We have power of angle stage 9. Power of Angry Hulk stage 9. So 12, it will be a lot better because we will get do 10% extra attack every every minute. So that, that is huge. Then we have a no artifact on this girl. So and then we have a mighty judgment with a really bad 15% chain of damage. So it can be improved. And it's a 40-70 though, but the chain of damage is kind of low. So, anyways, that's how it goes. For the uniform, we have the mythic uniform with all of these uniform options as well. And now why I'm calling her the freaking Spidey 2.0. Now most of the teams and uh, even without the teams, most of the uh, if you are using Storm on mutant stages specifically mutant stages and specifically with cyclops okay this only works mostly with cyclops otherwise it might not work out but the co-op skill she actually uses the extra fifth skill spidey used to use the fourth skill that's why we would do insane amount of damage on that tier 3 skill rotation we, uh, we will be taking advantage of that on the null stage 51 clear rotation is exactly the same yet a little bit just a tweak different with this mighty judgment now if you have a normal judgment you don't have to use the first skill you don't have to use the first skill in this rotation if you have a mighty first skill is a must because of course we have to charge the type amplification proc but i'll just tell you the rotation so it's gonna be three cancel one two five four we get the proc then two one then we'll run around okay the second, the tier 3 skill rotation, 3 cancel, 1, 2, 5, 4, co-op, 6 skill, 5, 4, co-op, 6 skill, okay, and of course, don't cancel this, then you can just go, 2 cancel, 3, 1, 5, 4, whenever it comes around, okay, so, and let me repeat it once again, what, what it's gonna be, so it's gonna be 3 cancel, 1, 2, 5, 4, we got the proc on the 4 skill, and most damage, don't cancel that, 2 cancel 1 and then wait, charge your type and location proc once again and then 3 cancel 1, 2, 5, 4 co-op and then the tier 3 skill. Okay? And after she hits the ground right here, you can cancel the tier 3 skill right here as well. I just cancel that right after she hits the ground with all that lightning. Okay? That's how I play her. The reason to use the first skill is to charge the type amplification proc. You have to charge your type amplification proc when starting the rotation at about 95 to 97%. And the first skill will help you charge up at 200%. So you can use that with 2 cancel 5 4 and 2 cancel 5 4 tier 3 and you will get at least 4 seconds of the type proc on your tier 3 as well and you're not wasting any more time so anyways let's take a look at the cards we have 25 percent peers and uh, crazy energy around your cards but no joke it's a freaking stage 51 uh well it's it's super hard for the mutant so let's go check it out okay let's see how she does like uh yeah, I was, uh, I thought that proc might work and proc does actually work pretty nice, but it stays 51, it's pretty strong. Anyways, I'm gonna switch, charge the type to 99%, 3 cancel, 1, 2, 5, 4, look at that. The type proc activated and we have the proc exactly where we want it. Now we use the skill, roll around, turn around, we'll uh, charge it once again, 3 cancel, 1 cancel, 2, 5, 4, I forgot to use the co-op skill, so the damage will be a bit lower, okay? I did make a mistake there. But just try to spam the skills after the tier 3 rotation. I use the co-op skill just in case I needed some extra damage around that. And 5 cancel 4, 
to do some nice damage to cancel one don't forget to use these skills and now once again we have to run around so i guess he's gonna do this attack i'm gonna go three cancel uh five four co-op tier three and see the damage it's pretty nice with the with that skill so two cancel three cancel one i got a quick five cancel four I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get it because now we can use the tier 3 skill rotation. Every single skill that you use is super, super important that you use them at the, uh, at the right time. Now, I made a mistake, I think, that I wanted to charge. I want to charge my uh, type proc and I wanted to use the second skill as well. So we only had like three seconds of time remaining when we use the third skill. But this is not going to be the case right now. So I'm going to go three cancel. 1 cancel, 5, 4, tier 3, I'm not even gonna touch the second skill because it would have just, uh, you know, ju just uh, could have done that. Gonna use the co-op skill just to get some extra damage with the extra 5th skill. That That's how it goes. And let's see, uh, 5, 4, I think I should just run. Yeah, I need to run around. <laughs> she can die, she's so squishy. You can see the HP bar is almost down. I have to use the 3 cancel. Uh, I think I can, I want to save the tier 3 skill. Uh, and we save the tier 3 skill. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, that is pretty strong. So now the bad part. He starts moving. Now I have to use the type proc at 100%. I cannot do that because she's gonna die otherwise. Uh, we're gonna go 5-4 co-op uh, tier 3 skill. It still does awesome damage but look at that. The type goes away right when he's, she's about to do the maximum damage with the blast. So kind of sucks but she's doing some awesome damage right here. So I'm just gonna wait around, gonna use some extra skills to do maybe some extra damage and now run around before he gets. So I need to switch. This was a bad idea. This was a bad thing. Uh, okay as well because he's gonna jump anyway. So I will have to do this. Let's see. I can switch to Som now. Uh, I'm gonna switch to her now. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to her now. Uh, he can kill me but I'm gonna use a tier 3 skill. 5-4 tier 3 skill and push him to the 30th bar which is awesome. Now, gotta do one more rotation and can do some extra damage out before she goes out. So, we got like a uh, one and a half bars of damage before she, before he went, uh, before he went to the iframe, which is pretty solid actually. So, the uniform, I would say, if you are a world boss legend player stuck on those mutant stages, she's worth it. Otherwise, I think you can skip Storm, but she's very strong. Anyways, gonna use the... I, I'm happy that I did not use the tier 4 skill, the tier 3 skill, sorry, the tier 3 skill did not trigger and I'm happy, so happy about that. I want to freaking save my uh, skill for the 7th phase, this, this kind of sucks. Now I made a big mistake, don't do this, okay, don't be reckless. I used the skill and I wanted to get to the 7th bar and I lost like 95% or 99% of my HP. I'm just gonna play safe, <laughs> okay. We just need two rotations, I think then we can clear this thing. Maybe two rotations, maybe three rotations, we'll see. Probably two, two rotations. I'm gonna switch to Storm right after this. Right here, I'm gonna switch to Storm. I'm gonna wait till he breaks because man, slow motion is very hard for me to see with the, the gauge. Uh, three cancel, one, five, four, co-op and tier three skill. Look at that beautiful damage. That is awesome and we need one more rotation. Five, cancel, four and we are Done, almost done, yeah. Stage 51 with a minute left. Stage 51 with a minute left. Level 80, she will crush these stages. She is very, very strong. So, stage 51 at level 70. Level 80, she will destroy. So, it's a relief, at least for those people who have been stuck on null stage 50 to 54. Because you need uh, at least one or two brilliants to clear that stage. You need at least a brilliant on maybe cable. Maybe you can use that on your uh, gambit. Psylocke also is an amazing option. Emma Frost was there. But Storm, I think, can solo stage 50 to 54. It was a minute remaining with a level 70. We don't have the artifact. The ISO are not finished. We don't have anyone's blessings. So, she is strong, she definitely is strong, but at level 80, she will destroy. The only, uh, like, only setback and the only thing that I don't like, the uniform is paywall. So, sadly, but this is the truth that uh, she is the strongest mutant in the game. Even at level 70 for at least World Boss Legend, she probably is the strongest in the game right now for World Boss Legend specifically. Level 80, she will literally destroy and also will be able to do, I believe, stage 45 plus. 
uh, Ultron. And I'm just talking level 80. Tier 4, she is going to destroy those stages, okay? She is literally going to destroy uh, those stages. So I think Storm might be, I'm just saying, Storm might be the strongest tier 4 in the game. I'm just talking, I'm just <laughs> talking about before getting her tier 3. But with the things that look like, she's gonna get a lot more elemental damage from the artifact as well. And the ISO, and of course, you can also use the brilliant, but I'm just talking about the level 80 and tier 4. She's super strong. Sadly a paywall, but an amazing character. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the storm. Yeah, I know it's paywall, uh, paywall but she's insane. She's incredible. You cannot defy that she is awesome. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm waiting for the level 80 test. Excited. See you guys. Take care.